Hey guys, it's Mona here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to get straight into this and I am going to be making a tropical granola clustery type thing that um, you can just um, put on top of yogurt or have it on its own with some almond milk or even just as a little snack with a nice cup of tea. Um, so, okay, so first off in a bowl, we will be putting uh, one and a half cups of traditional um, rolled oats. Whoops, too many. Okay, so one and a half goes in there. And then we need to add some um, nuts. So we're going to be using almonds, macadamia and cashews today. So I'm just going to put those into a food processor. Just give them a bit of a chop. And as always, my re full recipe will be in the description box below. So there's your half a cup of cashews straight in there. Macadamias. Half a cup of almonds. These are all um, unsalted, so just raw good quality nuts. So I'm just gonna, it's gonna be noisy for a second. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a chop. chop them too much you still want them some of them to have a little you know it's a nice chunky pieces so I don't know if you can see there's a few little bits and pieces in there plus some little chunky bits so they can just go straight into the bowl with the roll goats okay just get rid of some mess here and then uh, what else for our dry ingredients we have some shredded coconut. So how much of that? A quarter of a cup. Where are we cups in here? So a quarter of a cup. Straight in there. And two tablespoons of chia seeds. Okay, where's my spoon? So in with those. Some of the orange powder. Now yeah, this is delicious on its own in some nice chilled water on a hot day. It's got super fruits and it also has a thousand milligrams of biotin, so it's really good for your hair, skin, and nails. I'm just going to put a couple of scoops of that in. This is going to help make it taste nice and tropical. And in with our vegan protein powder. This has added prebiotics and probiotics, so it's very, very good for your tummy. Keeps it nice and flat. And it's also good, um, obviously, in shakes and smoothies, but also I use this for all my like pancakes and bits and pieces, like muffins and mug cakes. So I'm going to just check that. Yep, half a cup of that goes in. Now the protein powder and the orange powder, I'll pop a link. Um, in the description box if anyone wants to try it I'm happy to um, send you a discount code so you can have a try of that okay so that's pretty much all the dry ingredients now let's give that a stir through and then we'll go on with our wet ingredients well actually we'll pop some salt in as well that just brings out all the natural flavours it's only a little bit but Okay, so then in here I have some coconut oil that I've already melted. I've got some um, organic brown rice syrup, but you could use maple syrup or honey or coconut sugar, but I just prefer to use that. Um, and I've also got some vanilla extract. And what else? I think I've covered everything now. And so I'll just give that a stir. 
and then mix that to the dry ingredients. Now I've already preheated my oven to 140 fan force and I've got a parchment lined tray here, baking paper, parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you've got. Stir through. And then once um, it's finished cooking, I'm gonna cut up some, I've got some delicious dried pineapple here and some organic coconut flakes. So once it's cooked and cooled down and I've broken it up, I'll just get some kitchen scissors and cut up the pineapple and then mix that through as well. So, okay, so into the dry ingredients. Get all that out. It's very, very sticky. It smells absolutely amazing. I can smell the, the vanilla and what else? The orange powder and oh, it smells awesome. So this takes a little bit of time to get to mix together. Oh, it smells so good. And about halfway through cooking, I'll just give it a, a stir through so the underneath layer can get all nice and crispy as well. And because it's got the added protein and stuff in it, it's actually quite, it's quite filling. So as I said, just with some Greek yogurt in the morning, or even just as a little snack. I normally have, just get a little bowl and pop some in and just have it as a snack while I'm watching Netflix or something. Okay, that's pretty much incorporated now. So just pop that on the tray. And as it cooks down, as, sorry, as, it cooks down. as it cooks, the liquid will come out and sort of spread on any of the dry, the dry areas. Okay. That's what it looks like and it smells absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna pop that in the oven now. And then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and this has been cooking for 45 minutes and it's nice and dry and crunchy and delicious. So um, you can just add in whatever you like, but I will be adding in a third of a cup of organic coconut flakes. So just pop them on. And I also have some of this delicious dried pineapple so I'm gonna go in with a third of a cup of that actually I'll probably put more in it doesn't look enough I just use um, kitchen scissors it just makes it a bit easier to I tried ripping it up with my fingers but it's a little bit hard because it's kind of sticky as well just chop them up it smells so good can't wait to try it Just mix all that through and when it's cooled down I'll just pop it into some mason jars and then have that throughout the week for breakfast as I said on top of some yogurt or even with some uh, you know a small bowl with some unsweetened almond milk it smells absolutely delicious so I hope you give it a try and if you enjoy this video give it a like and if you like any of my other videos, if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. 
and I'll pop the full recipe in the description box below and also the link for the um, for the vegan protein powder and the orange powder so thanks guys for watching catch you next time bye